Today's segment highlights the best of Camp Air of John. From our spacious living quarters to the exciting activities here on post, we'll show you a little of what you have to look forward to upon your arrival. Camp Air of John is broken into seven zones. How they're broken up? Well, nobody really knows. But what's important is that you'll spend most of your time in just three, zones one, two, and six. Our special field correspondent, Staff Sergeant James Burroughs, is reporting live from Zone 6. Sergeant Burroughs, how is it out there? Thanks, sir. Action News on the scene at Zone 6. It's one of the first places you'll want to visit after you arrive at Camp Erfjohn. Today's modern army provides a soldier with a multitude of amenities and extracurricular activities, many of which are located right here. It's about three clicks from where you'll work. Come on, let's take a look. In today's digital age, it's important that every soldier stay connected and relaxed. Erf John's MWR is the place to do that. Camp Erf John has many conveniently located kiosks to recharge your Eagle Cash card, but if you want to access the Wi-Fi that's in Starbucks or your barracks, you'll need one of these. It's a QNET card. The code on this card allows you to access the Wi-Fi for up to 30 days at a time. It's $40 a month, and these machines, they only accept cash. The Camp Air of John MWR also has sporting equipment you can check out, such as tennis rackets and bicycles. I got my sweet ride at the MWR. And now here's our resident secret squirrel with the weather. Thank you, Major Overby. As you can see today in Kuwait, we've got blistering heat with sand and no chance of any trees to block any of the sunlight or the wind. Tomorrow, you can expect much of the same as well as through the rest of eternity. Back to you, Major Overby. If you live near the pods in Zone 6 and you look on the horizon, you'll see this camel. It stands next to this tent every day and never moves. Every day. Some of you, none of whom are at this task briefing, may stay in these spacious air-conditioned squad bays. When they leave their wall locker to walk to the latrine or the laundry, it's going to be quite a hike. Shower shoes? You'll need them. They have these here. This is the ACU DCU boot drop box. Your packing list tells you to bring two pairs of boots. If you mess up and bring eight, you can throw six away right here. Most of you will live right next to where you work. How neat is that? You might live in zone two. This old warehouse has been converted into urban contemporary two-man rooms. You can't ask for better convenience. There's ample bike parking and pallets of free water. Plus, you work next door. Let's take a look inside. The spacious pre-furnished rooms come with a bed, a wall locker, and a desk for each occupant. There is also a refrigerator and a TV for you to share. We have quite a few dining options available in Zone 6. We have Charlie's and Hardee's, and Starbucks, and Pizza Hut. That's pretty neat. Mmm, mmm, that's delicious. Along with the defects in Zone 6 and Zone 2, we also have the Oasis. Come on down to the Oasis. We've cooked it all up just for you. These are concrete barrier planter boxes. That's pretty neat. We have several gyms available in Camp Air of John. There's one in Zone 6, one in Zone 1, and an additional annex in Zone 1. We're here to help you up. <laughs> we also have a running track and an AstroTurf sports field. How neat is that? Camp Air of John has everything you expect from an active duty post from sports facilities to medical facilities and even a theater that shows current releases. All things being equal, you'll have a good deployment at Camp Eric John because when it comes down to it, your deployment is what you make it. From all of us here at the 135th Public Affairs Office, have a great deployment. <laughs>